Well, of course, there's millions of things that have to be right. We here have put in uh, over 60,000 and uh, it's about uh, 25,000 woodwork hours, so there's sort of 85,000 hours of, uh, of labour have gone into it. And here we are, you know, basically four years later, so it's uh, a two-year woodwork process and then uh, full-time here, um, another two years uh, to overhaul everything and and uh, get it ready to fly. It, it's the ultimate check that everything that the boys have done is going to hold together and it can be one, you know, 50 cent thing that can come off that can cause you a, a lot of uh, grief. You start thinking to yourself, you know, have we looked at everything, have we checked everything? My name's Warren Denholm and I'm the Chief Engineer here at uh, Avspex uh, at uh, Ardmore in Auckland, New Zealand. Hi, I'm Steve Hinton and I'm here in Auckland at the Ardmore Airport. I'm standing in front of this beautiful, fresh, yet to be flown, brand new to have a mosquito. The Mosquito was a pretty important airplane in World War II. It's a pretty amazing uh, fighter bomber and uh, it's very unique in the sense it's made of wood. And it has metal cowlings and metal structure for the landing gear, but the wings and the fuselage are all wood and uh, you know there aren't very many of them left. Part of the test is really just to uh, put time on it and just uh, so it builds reliability. But uh, it's a beautiful airplane and, um, and I know uh, Rod will be really happy with it. It's uh, handling nicely and the engines are running sweet and um, yeah, I'm feeling good about it and uh, I just don't want to let it go. <laughs> just on to another chapter. It's a shame to see it leave the country, but it's also fantastic to see it, you know, in its new home and uh, uh, where it's, where it's going to live.